Welcome back to a brand new lecture series about RNAi cloning and all other important subjects related to biotechnology. So we will be having a marathon of this subject. So let's start learning. Post transcriptional gene silencing or PTGS, which was initially considered a bizarre phenomenon, bizarre phenomenon limited to petunias plants and a few other plant species, is now one of the hottest topics in our molecular biology. In the past few years, it has become clear that PTPS occurs in most plants and animals and has roles in viral defense and transposone silencing of cancer. Perhaps most exciting, however, is the emerging use of PTPS as an earlier RNA injection. RNA it is initiated by the induction of double stranded RNA, yes, RNA as a tool to knock out expression of specific genes in a variety of organisms. How is RNA I discovered? How does it work? Perhaps more importantly, how can it be harnessed for functional genomics experiments? It is that phenomenon is discovered. Co suppression and PTPS, PTGS in plants. More than a decade ago, a surprising observation was made in Petunia. While trying to deepen the purple color of these flowers, Rich, Jorgensen and colleagues introduced a pigment producing gene under the control of a powerful promoter. Instead of the expected deep purple color, many of the flowers appeared variegated or even white. Okay, so John Jensen and the observed phenomenon co suppression since the expression of both the reduced gene and the homologous endogenous gene was suppressed. Then co suppression, silencing of an endogenous gene caused by the introduction of a plant gene of infection by a virus. This term is can refer to silencing of the post transcriptional PTGS or post transcriptional TGS level has been primarily adapted to adopted to the social system with plants. First thought to be a quick or quick of petunia, co suppression has since been found to occur in many species of plants. It has also been observed in fungi and has been particularly well characterized in neuro Neurospora rasha, which where it is known as quelli. So, but what caused this gene silencing? Effect? Although transgene induced silencing in some plants appear to have involved gene specific methylation, transcriptional gene silencing or PGS, in others, silencing occurs at the post transcriptional level, post transcriptional gene silencing or PTGS. Nuclear renon experiments on the later case show that the homologous transcript is made, but this is this it is rapidly degraded in cytoplasm and does not accumulate. So introduction of transgene can trigger PTGS, however, silencing can also be introduced induced by the introduction of certain viruses. Once triggered, PTGS is mediated by a diffusible transacting molecule. This was first demonstrated in Neurospora when Cognoni and colleagues showed that gene silencing should could be transferred between nuclei in heterokaryotic tissue. It was later confirmed in plants when Halek and colleagues induced PTGS in a host plant by grafting a silenced transgene containing source plant to an unsilenced host. From work done in nematodes and flies, we now know that the transacting factor responsible for PTGS in plants is BSR. Post transcriptional gene silencing or PTGS. Silencing of an endogenous gene caused by the introduction of a homologous DSRNA transgene or virus. In PTGS, the transcript of the silenced gene is synthesized but does not accumulate because it is rapidly degraded. This is a more general term than RNAi since it can be triggered by several different ways. Gene silencing by DSRNA, RNA interference. RNAi is discovered in nematodes. The first evidence that DSRNA could lead to gene silencing came from work in the nematode Xenorhabditis elegans. Seven years ago, researchers Go and Ken Fix and Watcher of the Organization of Scientific Names and Office Name and Power were attempting to use antisense RNG to shut down the expression of the PAR1 gene in order to access its function. As expected, injection of antisense DNA disrupted expression of PAR1, but physically, injection of the sense strand to control this too. This result was a puzzle until three years later. It was then that fire and Nello first injected DSRNA, a mixture of both sense and antisense strands into Xenogabdite cell again. This injection resulted in much more efficient silencing than injection of either the sense or the antisense strands alone. Indeed, injection of a, just a few molecules of DSRNA per cell was sufficient to completely silence the homologous genes expression. Furthermore, injection of DSRNA into the gut of the worm caused 
gene silencing not only throughout the worm but also in its first generation of spring. The potency of RNA IE inspired fire and pheromones to um, try feeding nematodes bacteria that had been engineered to express these RNA homologs to xenorabbate cell against UNC 22 genes. Surprisingly, this one developed an UNC 22 null like phenotype. Further work showed that soaking worms in DS RNA was also able to induce silencing these strategies, whereby large numbers of nematodes were expected exposed to DS RNA have enabled a large scale screens to select for RNAi defective free elegans mutants and have led to large numbers of gene knockout studies within this organism. RNAi in Drosophila. RNAi has also been observed in Drosophila, although a strategy in which yeast were engineered to produce DS RNA and then fed to fruit flies failed to work. Microinjecting Drosophila embryos with DS RNA does affect does affect silencing. Silencing can also be induced by shooting DSRNA into my Drosophila embryos with a gene gun or by engineering flies to carry DNA containing an invest, inverted repeat of the gene to be silenced. Over the past few years, these RNAi strategies have been used as reverse genetics tools in Drosophila organisms, embryolysates and cells to characterize various loss of function phenotypes. The biochemical mechanism of RNAi. So how does injection of DSRNA lead to gene silencing? Many research group have diligently worked over the last few years to answer this important question. A key finding by Hamilton provided in this clue, they identified RNAs of less than 25 nucleotides in plants undergoing co-suppression that were absent in non-silenced plants. These RNAs were complementary to both the sense and antisense strands of the gene being silenced. So further work in Drosophila using embryo lysates and as in Vibrio in vitro system derived from S2 cells shed more light on the subject. In one notable series of experiments, Zamor and colleagues found that DS RNA added to Drosophila embryo lysis were proceeded to 21 to 23 nucleotide species. They also found that the homologous endogenous mRNA was cleaved only in the region corresponding to the introduced DS RNA and that cleave Cleavage occurs at 21 to 23 nucleotide intervals. Rapidly, the mechanism of RNAi was becoming clear. Current models of the RNA mechanism. Both biochemical and genetic approaches have led to the current models of RNA mechanism. In these models, RNAi include both initiation and effect steps. In the initiator step, input RDS RNA is digested into 21 to 23 nucleotide small interfering RNA. So, Evidence indicate that SI RNAs are produced that the enzyme dies a member of the DNA's C family of DS RNA specific ribonuclease progressive, progressively cleaves DS RNA induced directly or via transgenor virus in the ATP virulence. I am going to say this once again. In the initiation step, input DS RNA is digested into 21 to 23 nucleated small interfering RNA. Guide RNAs. Evidence suggests that siRNAs are produced when the enzyme dies a member of the RNA's C family of DS RNA specific ribonuclease presumably cleaves the DS RNA. So, initiation step we will be cutting or digesting the 23 to 21 to 23 dinucleotide small interfering RNAs. So, this DS RNA is turning into siRNAs which are also called guide RNAs with the help of enzyme dice. Okay. And it's an ITP dependent process of manner. Successive cleavage events degrade the RNA to 19 to 21 base pair duplexes SIRNAs each with two nucleated 3 prime overhangs. Next in the effector step. In the effector step, the SIRNA duplexes bind to a nucleus complex to form what is known as the RNA induced silencing complex or the RNA induced induced silencing complex or risk. An ATP depending unwinding of the SIRNA duplex is required for activation of the risk. The active risk then targets the homologous transcript by base pairing interactions and cleaves the
for enzymes involved in PTGS may also be involved in development. Then RNAi effectors, important genes for the effector step of PTGS include the P elegans RDE2 and MUT7 gene. Worms with mutated RDE2 or MUT7 genes exhibit defective RNAi, but interestingly, they also demonstrate increased levels of transposon activity. The silencing of transposons appears to occur at a mechanism related to RNAi and PTGS. Although the RDE2 gene product has not yet been identified, the MUT7 gene encodes a protein with homology to the mutase domains of RNAs D and protein implicated in Werner syndrome, a rapid aging disease in humans. Werner syndrome, Werner syndrome, a rapid aging disease in humans. Perhaps this protein is a candidate for the nucleus activity required to target RNA degradation. So, although the RDE2 gene product has not yet been identified, the MUT7 gene encodes a protein with homology to the nucleus domains of RNA ACD and a protein implicated in Werner syndrome. And PTGS has ancient roots. Discoveries from both the genetic and biochemical approaches point to the fact that PTGS has deep evolutionary roots. Proposals have been put forth that PTGS evolved as a defensal system against a transposon or RNA virus, perhaps before plants and animals diverged. Interestingly, it was noted by many researchers that disruption of gene required for RNAi often causes severe de developmental defects. This observation suggested a link between RNA and at least one developmental pathway. The group of small RNA molecules called small temporal RNAs or strRNAs regulates P elegans developmental timing through translational repression of target transcripts. Research indicate that P elegans LIN4 and LET7 strRNA or small temporal RNA following point of RNAi and strRNA pathways. Recently, nearly 100 additional anti-RNA molecules termed microRNAs and myRNAs were identified in Drosophila C. elegans HeLa cells. Both like um, LIN4 and LET7, these myRNAs are formed from precursor RNA molecules that fit fold into a stem loop secondary structure. The newly discovered 22 anti-MIRNAs are believed to play a role in regulation of gene expression and at least two of them are known to require dicer for their production. It appears that the use of small RNAs for both the gene regulation and RNAi is a common theme throughout evolution. Inducing RNAi in mammalian cells Inducing RNAi in mammalian cells from mechanism to application. Non-specific gene silencing by long dsRNAs. While the natural presence of RNAi had been observed in a variety of organisms, plant protozoa, plant insects, nematodes, evidence for the existence of RNAi in mammalian cells to be longer to establish. Transfection of long TS RNA molecules, less than 13 T, into most mammalian cells causes non specific suppression of gene expression as opposed to the gene specific suppression seen in other organisms. This suppression has been attributed to a antiviral response which takes place in cognitive pathways. In one pathway, long dsRNAs activate a protein kinase PKR. Activated PKR in turn phosphorylates and inactivates the translation initiation factor EIF2A, leading to a repression of translation. In the other pathway, long dsRNAs activate RNASL, which leads to non specific RNA degradation. Then SIRNA is bypass the antiviral response. Interestingly, dsRNAs less than 30 in length do not activate the PKR kinase pathway. This observation as well as knowledge that long dsRNAs are cleaved to form siRNAs in worms and flies and that siRNAs can induce RNAi in Drosophila embryo lysates forms. Researchers to test whether introduction of siRNAs could induce gene-specific silencing in mammalian cells. Indeed, siRNAs produced by transient infection were transfection were found to effectively induce RNAi in mammalian cultured cells in sequence specific manner. The effectiveness of siRNAs varies the most potent siRNA result in 90% reduction in target RNA and protein levels. The most effective siRNA turned out to be 21st dsRNA with 
two NT three prime over Hanks. Second specificity of SIRNA is very stringent. A single base pair mismatches between SIRNA and a target mRNA dramatically reduce silence. Unfortunately, not all SIRNAs with these characters are effective. RNA as a tool for functional genomics. Although the history and mechanism of RNA IE and PTGS are fascinating, many researchers are most excited about RNA IE potential use as a functional genomics tool. Already, RNA IE has been used to ascertain the function of many genes in Drosophila, C. elegans, and several species of plants. With the knowledge that RNA IE can be introduced, induced in mammalian cells by the transfection of SI RNA, many more researchers are beginning to use. RNAi as a tool in human, mouse and other mammalian cell culture systems. In early experiments with mammalian cells, the SIRNAs were synthesized chemically. Once made, the SIRNAs are introduced into cell via transient transcription. Transient silencing of more than 90% has been observed with this type of approach. So far, injection and transfection of DSRNA into cells and organisms have been the main method of delivery of SIRNA. And while the silencing effect lasts for several days and does appear to be transferred to daughter cells, it does eventually diminish. Recently, however, a number of groups have developed the expression vectors to continuously express SIRNAs in transiently and stably transfected mammalian cells. Some of these vectors have been engineered to express small hairpin RNAs, SH RNAs, which get proceeded in vivo into SIRNA-like molecules capable of carrying out gene-specific silencing. The ends of SH RNA are processed in vitro in vivo converting the SHRNA into 21 NT SIRNA like molecules which in turn initiate RNAi. This later finding correlates with recent experiments in C. elegans, Drosophila, plants and trypnosomes where RNAi has been induced by an RNA molecule that folds into a stem loop structure. Another SIRNA expression vector developed include the sense and antisense SIRNA stands under control of separate pole 3 promoter. The SIRNA stands from this vector and like the SHRNA of the other vectors have 5 pyrimidine transmission signals. Silencing efficacy by both type of expression vectors was comparable to that induced by transiently transfecting SIRNA. The recent studies on RNA IE have been taken research word by strong. This ability to quickly and easily create loss of function phenotypes in nature and RNA may even hold prompts for development of gene specific therapeutics. Quelling PTGS in Neurospora CASA induced by the introduction of a transgene. Risk DNA induced silencing complex. In place complex composed of proteins and SI RNA that target and destroy endogenous mRNA complementary to the SI RNA within a complex. RNA interference, RNA I. Post-transcriptional gene silencing PTGS induced by the direct introduction of DSRNA. The term RNA interference was first used by researchers studying C. elegans. In SIRNA, small interfering RNAs, current models of PTGS indicate that these 21 to 23 nucleotide DSRNA mediate PTGS. Introduction of SIRNAs can induce PTGS in mammalian cell. SIRNAs are apparently produced in vivo by cult. Um, cleavage of DSRNA introduced directly or via a transgene or virus. Amplification by an RNA dependent RNA polymerase RDRP may occur in some organisms. So SIRNAs are incorporated into the RNA induced silencing complex guiding the complex to the homologous endogenous mRNA where the complex cleaves the transcript. Thank you for listening.